the Duker. Larry Morrow on Rixie 1260. Larry Morrow is one of the most familiar figures in Cleveland radio history, but as successful as the Duker and Wixie 1260 was in 1969, he said the station lacked a certain respect in the community, so one day he recalls getting a visit from the station manager. He said, uh, Larry, how would you like to go to Vietnam? <laughs> I, and it was the height of the war, and I said, why would I want to go to Vietnam? It pointed out that there were more than 200 people from Greater Cleveland serving in Vietnam, and they wanted Morrow to go overseas to interview them and bring back their holiday greetings to air between Thanksgiving and Christmas. He recalled vividly immediately after landing in Vietnam, being recognized by a serviceman from home. And he said, oh, you're the Duker, Larry Morrow, from the world. What are you doing here? <laughs> in all, Morrow would interview 55 local service members, interviews he thought were long lost, until two years ago when we found a few to play for him, hearing them for the first time in decades. 136 Wixie Thanksgiving time, as Wixie brings the boys home from Vietnam. Hi, Duker. My name is uh, PSCRL Jacobson. I graduated from Canton McKinley High School. Uh, Mom, Dad, and Helen, I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving, and I hope to be home by Christmas. Boy, that's going to be nice, isn't it, Ralph? Sure is. Is this your first Thanksgiving away? No, it's my third. How long have you been in Vietnam? 18 months. Want to play a, a song for uh, your girl back home in Canton? I'd like to. Uh, every day with you, girl. I'll tell you, Ross was uh, so delightful to talk with and wanted to play a song for Eleanor and his mother and father. Well, that's fun to listen yeah. to. After that story ran last Thanksgiving, we heard from Jim Vocare, a veteran who, it turns out, was not only interviewed by Morrow, but he was the one who recognized him when he landed in Vietnam. Well, it was a complete shock. I mean, I never expected to, although I ran into guys I knew, um, I never expected to see the Duker sitting there, you know, <laughs> a famous disc jockey, you know, from home, sitting there and going, what, looking for people to interview, it's like, wow, this is crazy. Well, Care, by the sheer chance of that meeting, would be the first one Morrow would interview. And his was the first interview to air November 28th, 1969, 50 years ago today. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. We decided to bring the two of them together to go over their memories, Morrow recalling the hurdles they had to jump through to even make the trip happen. And this was my note from the Congress of the United States saying, we cannot get you there. <laughs> I didn't have any problem getting there. Don't do it. Yeah. Morrow made each person he interviewed a promise that when they got home, he would take them to the lunch, never forgetting the ones who didn't have the opportunity, killed in action. So when the Vietnam Memorial Wall was dedicated in Washington in 1982, Morrow was there. And I reached up and touched their names and I said, I'm here for our lunch. I kept our agreement. Morrow and Vaucare, as it turned out, never had their lunch. But now, 50 years after their chance meeting in Vietnam, they have a friendship born out of a trip that Morrow said forever tied him to the city. Vietnam was the one occasion and the one part of me that kept me here forever in the hearts of Clevelanders. John Kasich, News 5.